Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm the AR Guy and I have a tabletop unboxing of January 2019's Tag Pack. Now, I'm not going to waste any time talking about it. Um, they did say it was going to have AR parts for like the next three months, January, February, and March. So let me just jump right on into it with my 511 tactical knife. We'll cut it on open and we'll see what we have on the card. Uh, as usual, I do recommend uh, pausing it and reading the card to see what actually is in the box. I actually used to do that before I received tag packs myself. So... That's a little fact about me, so uh, I could see something in here looks interesting, but let's just go ahead and there you go, everybody. Pause it, take a look, and there you go. All right, I'm going to put that on down now here off to the side, cover up logos that are not sponsors and whatnot, so <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Bingo, bango. All right, perfect. So let me jump right on into it. First thing I'm picking up here is JE Machine Tech. This is obviously a lower vice block. I'm sorry, <laughs> block. Um... Another highly requested item from our subscribers, the block slips into the rifle's magazine well and is held in place by the rifle's magazine catch. This is made not to crush, distort, mar, or damage the receiver while you get your work done. The lower receiver fits into the magazine housing from either the top or the bottom, and it is made in the USA. Uh, these are the same people that actually made the SOT mod stock that I have here that's going to be going on one of my future builds. I do believe one of the gentlemen here actually follows me on YouTube, so... Hello, sir. How are you? Thank you again for another nice product. And it's got some good weight to it. Uh, matter of fact, I actually have one here. I, uh, I'm not sure who this was from. God. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it's got a lot more weight and it, it just looks a little bit beefier. So maybe it'll be a little tighter fit because this old one I have is actually kind of loose. So um, yeah, we'll test that out and we'll take a look at that in the meantime. Let's just take a look at the next item. So let's just pull this out. <laughs> Another JE Machine Tech. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, shorty vertical foregrip. Um, well, I'm in California, so I don't think I can really attach this to one of my rifles. But <laughs> it's always good to have. Um, this is a compact foregrip featuring a CQB design for fast reaction and control. It includes a storage compartment as well. Oh, there's a storage compartment in the bottom. Check that out. All right, let me open that up. I actually want to see that. Uh, made in America by our friends at JE Machine Tech. Matter of fact, they've got two items in this box, so that's really cool. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, yeah, I can feel how it's coming out here. There we go. Nice rubberized. Okay. Nice little pop cap. Cool. Very good. Made in the USA. I love that. Got to support American-made products. Can't go wrong with that. All right. So, well, uh, anyway... Uh, like it says, made in America by our friends J Machine. Over the years, it's been biased towards shoulder grips based on their ease of maneuvers because of the short profile. I guess it's been biased towards them. Well, it does feel really good in the hand. It feels very grippy. So hopefully the laws change here in the future. Or I maglock. I probably could have that. I hate maglock. Anyway, moving on to the next. A torch backup light. Okay. Mission first tactical. Oh, Okay. Got it. Very cool. Low output and illumination for signature reduction. Very cool. This So this mounts to your rifle. All right. That's what it looks like here. Beam choice of red, 10 lumens, 24 hours, lithium CR 2016s, good for one meter of depth, and 22 grams in weight. Mission first tactical. All right, let's take a look at what it says about that. Uh, mission first tactical torch backup. This has a value of $50 is what they're telling me here on the card. Um, this one says, one of our highest demanded items of all time, and we have delivered. We wanted to find something that met the apex of affordability and quality. This low-profile, Picatinny-mounted, pressure-pad-activated light is ideal for home protection, navigation, or as a backup to a primary illumination source. Very interesting. I've never seen one of these things. I'm going to have to look this up online after the fact. Um, let's see what else it says. Uh, low output illumination for signature reduction during patrol, stealth structure search, approach to target, and reaching operations. Okay. 10-year storage lifespan, 12-hour burn time, and weighing just 22 grams. We have a feeling this will be an immediate addition to all your setups. 10-year um, storage. Wow, that's crazy. Very cool. A little red light. All right. Perfect. Let's take a look at uh, what else we have in the box. I do see a patch. MFT made in the USA. Very cool. This, oh, look at that. 20% off. Uh, I will add this actually to my safe and have another sticker. Really appreciative of that. Next item I do believe in the kit. Correct. Let me throw that off to the side. I do see a, what looks like a medikit. Perfect. Let me open this up. I do want to take a look at it right away. 
Okay, so this is the uh, the ABKT. Oh, perfect. American Buffalo and Knife and Tool Company. I believe that is. American Buffalo yeah, Knife and Tool. What it says is if you deal with firearms on the regular, then a solid first aid kit is a must. We selected a comprehensive kit that takes up very little space. Very interesting. I got to retie that. It came untied. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, let's keep it going here. Uh, this nice and lightweight kit includes five each, small, medium, and large adhesive bandages, six feet of, what it says, elastic wrap bandage, five butterfly bandages, ten feet white medical tape, five antiseptic towelettes, a couple gauze pads, more gauze pads, cotton swabs, a monkey fist tourniquet. Now that's something I'm curious about. I'm wondering if that's what this is. Uh, let me take a look. Yeah, that's see what else we have here because that is probably what it is just a uh, yep monkey fist. okay so that's that's what that is one tourniquet pair of gloves surgical scissors tweezers cohesive elastic bandage and a molly compatible bag all inside a black nylon pouch so that's very cool I mean this is it feels really well built um, there you go hook and loop uh, there you go, medical October twentieth, twenty eighteen. So this is almost brand new. It's only a few months old. Smells fresh too. Um, I do like it. This is something that I can actually use. Um, this has a value of twenty five bucks, and to me, um, this could be a lifesaver. Uh, you know, something you could keep out on the range just in case some some badness happens, a ricochet or whatnot. You need to apply a tourniquet and some pressure to stop a, stop some bleeding. Um, I'm all for it. So. This will definitely be added into the rotation. I'm very thankful for this. Um, I'll go ahead and tie this string up after the fact. Uh, this is a very cool backup uh, light. And I'll tell you what, um, I'm pretty pleased with this month's products, you know? Uh, JE Machine Tech, I, they feel quality, like quality and solid items, so I'm really thrilled about that. And this is a nice item as well, so let me put that back in there. Uh, unfortunately, I probably will never mount this to a rifle. Uh, until our laws change here and we can actually have some uh, freedom and uh, relinquishing on the tyranny here uh, controlled by the uh, the Democrats, I would say. Or at least controlled by those people in California who we do not like, the anti-gunners. Anywho, so let's stick back to the topic. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm really curious. I'm always, you know, always curious what other people's opinions are on certain products that we review here on YouTube. Um, in the meantime, go ahead and uh, check out that video if you haven't already seen it. I'm going to go ahead and throw it up on this side. Go ahead and check out that one as well. I am the AR guy. Go ahead and subscribe. I really do appreciate it, and it doesn't cost you a penny. Uh, and until next time, build your guns, stand your ground, defend your rights, and I'll see you in the next one.